not like with, with this kind of thing, it's a little different than full on short or performance short board. It just has a lot of versatility. So it, it suits so many different levels where you can rip on it or you can be average guy and surf on it or whatever. And, and everyone's kind of like getting the benefits of it. For the normal, like everyday guy who just wants to, just wants to have a fucking fun surf, you can like have a fun surf on this for sure. John Paisel, this is uh, my shaping room in Wailua on the North Shore and uh, shapes her ports. Yeah, the waves are pretty bad, but I don't know, this ball goes fast and you don't have to do much, so <laughs> pretty sweet. They make things easier in a sense. It's easier to paddle than a right, you know, your catch waves easier. You're gonna kind of have a, keep your speed up. You pick this one up and it's like, oh yeah, this is gonna go, you know nothing crazy going on, which is what I totally back. I think the best thing about boards like this is that if you can't, it, it's never wrong. Aesthetically, it just looks good. And usually what looks good works good. If you're a good, good enough surfer to do this, then you're gonna wanna get it pretty small. And that's the cool thing too I love about small boards is like fitting into waves. A flatter rockered board is kind of tough on like a late drop, but if it's small enough, you can just kind of throw it over and, and get into that wave easy, you know, and get up and it's no problem. It fits into the curve better. And I got a couple of little tubes where I pulled in. I was like, ah, oh. like I bogged. I'm like, kept in like a little ball, just tiniest little barrels. And then I just zipped out of them. And I was like, fuck, that's pretty weird. <laughs> like, how did it do that? rides a 6-1 thruster, that's like, he's like the guy that just goes for that all the time. And so that made it really interesting to see him on all the different boards. And his like different approaches were pretty cool. It lets you kind of see the board more than the surfer when you see that kind of thing. It's kind of like the variables are a little different. You know, it's not like he always rides all this different stuff. So he just knows how to adapt. And it's like, it can kind of show the weaknesses and the strengths of a board too, because he's not so used to that kind of like changing stuff around. Man, you can't really go wrong. That's what I thought when I picked up the board. I was like, this board's gonna go. Like, how good's it gonna go? But like, it's gonna fucking go for sure. But I had fun on it, so that was cool. <laughs> <laughs>